Hello, beautiful people. Time for another quick and dirty how-to. Let's see if we can get in and out in five minutes. OBS Linux browser, OBS Linux browser plugin. More importantly, one that works. Uh, if you know what this is, you've been looking for it. So let's just skip that business. We're going to make a directory. We're going to extract it. What are we going to extract? We're going to extract not 3.1. It is a current version. Maybe you're watching this later. This one I do know works, but Pepsi challenge time. Everything on the desktop because it's quick and dirty. We need to make that directory. Let's do that. And once we've downloaded that, another copy pasta job. That'll take a second because this is Chromium basically. So it's about 130 something megabytes, but you should now have in your .config OBS, the OBS Linux browser plugin. What are we going to be using this for? I'm going to be using it as um, Discord input for our chat because StreamKit has a nice little tool that makes that wicked simple. So I'm at Discord app, well, .com forward slash StreamKit. I'm going to connect to Discord install from OBS. A couple of options. You have a status, chat, and voice widgets. Um, with the text, live show, that's where we're going to pull from if you have multiple ones. You can salt to taste. You have text color, size, outlines, and all that. But what you end up with is a handy little URL that we are going to be plugging into OBS. So if everything worked right, let's head there to OBS. And in our sources, I should be able to add a Linux browser. That's a new piece of kit. Let's plug that in, make it visible. And that's your default. You have width, height, zoom, custom CSS, flash. Don't do that. Please don't do that. But we're going to paste that in and it should pull up the chat. What were our dimensions? 580-215. Let's try this out. 580. Ah, click OK. It's going to be tidy because we're at 3840 by 2160. I can embiggen it. You can read it there. Let's copy this and take a look. This might crash everything. It'll be fun. Um, let's just copy that and we'll bounce over. Hello, everyone. In perpetual darkness, I don't have any lights on because I didn't plan on doing that until just then. Paste as a reference and you can see it has a little bit of transparency to it. But for our single shots and preferably later, I think we'll be using it something more like that like slap it down there something along those lines okay i hope that was helpful maybe you found it useful um keep making cool stuff all right bye, -bye.